How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's Memorial Day Monday right now and we're going to get some mindfulness on. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I kind of lost my voice today when I was at the gym training people. I had to yell a whole bunch uh, over the music, not really at the people, but just to yell so they could hear me. Uh, there's a lot of distractions going on. We're having a little get together here today, but uh, I figured I was going to just give some mindfulness tips instead of making like a meditation video because of the background noise and stuff like that. So, um, today's mindfulness, I, I want to talk, I had this really great discussion with my buddy the other day, and uh, he's, you know, very into agriculture, and we were talking about, like, the life process of plants, and how, uh, you know, how when a tree grows, it just naturally grows, it has this automatic intelligence built into it, that it knows to grow towards the sunlight, to blossom in the summer, to shed its leaves in the winter, it to create bark to protect it, its inner workings, like, it has this intelligence that's already built into it. The process when it falls over and dies and decomposes and all the uh, other plants and animals come into play, it's, um, it's a very dynamic, intertwined, a connection that the whole entire universe and world has you know it's got this inner intelligence that you, a lot of people like to refer to them uh, to him as you know God or or whatever but uh, you know you don't have to believe in a God you just have to believe that there is something that you know is smarter than us that's in the works here I mean look at all the planets spinning around the Sun in a perfect timely manner in a perfect uh, E elliptical sphere. I don't. I don't know the actual terminology. I apologize. But anyways, just look at look at how crazy everything is that's going on around us. How in sync it is. How how perfect this world really is, without the uh, the effect of humans on it. So bring some mindfulness into that. Like really be grateful that you've been given a choice and almost a higher purpose than you know the world and the earth. And I want to say. We, it's hard to say, but yeah, you've been given a higher purpose than the earth because you've been, you are a part of the earth. But that's what I want you guys to realize is that we are all a part of what, you know, what we came from. We are all part of the earth. You know, eating a, a banana has a certain amount of intelligence in the banana and in your body to create that, make that banana and take the nutrients from it and make it into a human. So basically, you're just recycling the the energy from the sun, and you know recycling the energy from the planet that was derived from the sun. Be grateful for that, guys. Be connected. Feel what it feels like to to see the beauty in life and see how magnificent it really is. It's, if you start looking at the finer things in life, the things that we just take for granted, we'll really find a certain deep love for this, for being here, for having this opportunity to show up and get everything out of it that we can. It's, I'm just looking out the window now, guys, and it's so beautiful just like to think that, you know, the rain that's falling from the sky was formed in these magnificent clouds and how the water vapor even gets up there and then accumulates to a point where it rains down and all the different formations of clouds and how they look and how beautiful they are and how they seem to pulsate with each other and almost like they have a breath or a heartbeat. And you look at the trees as they grow and they get that nice greenness to them. It blossoms, the smell, the grass being cut, like, guys, the finer things in life, man. That's what it's about. You got to be grateful for being here. If you're upset because Susie Q fucking pissed you off this morning and you're going to hold on to that, like, you're looking at the wrong things. If you think making a million dollars, like, don't get me wrong, that's going to, you know, that's going to give you a certain amount of financial freedom, a certain amount of uh, ability to, to look at the world on your own time and uh, really appreciate it and do what it's for. But you got to be willing to realize that before you make a million dollars otherwise you're never going to see it when you make the million you're going to think oh, i made a million maybe it's at three or four or five million where the beauty of life is no guys it's right in front of you you already have it the most valuable thing your mind and your body your spirit your energy you've already got the most important things but you need to manifest it in the right way to make this 
more enjoyable. I mean, there's a certain state within yourself that you have to take control of to make that happen. And you can't give control to outward circumstances or distractions or compulsions or other things of that nature. Keep that in mind, guys. I hope this is a powerful message for you. I hope you really take it into take it in consideration and um, start to love life, guys. Because, you know, that's part of the path to the ultimate. There's a path of emotion, of utter love, of immersing yourself in everything that's here. If you combine that with your intellect, if you can focus that energy, if you can commit the actions to making that happen, you'll have anything you ever wanted. This is Max Fisher here from A Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. I hope you guys have a good Memorial Day. I'll see you on Wednesday.